Hi everyone, as you can see I'm back with this Christmas jump hat, but this time I've got a Christmas hat as well. Today I'm going to talk about the best books I read this year. This isn't going to be a top 10 or anything because what I wanted to do was talk about books which have really stuck out in my mind and that if I think about what I read in 2013 these are the first books that come to my mind. That way I know they're truly the best ones because they stuck in my head for a reason. It's in no particular order, these books are all ones that I equally loved though there are two books which I definitely loved more than anything else I read and they came from the same series so I'm going to start with those first. That's Day, Night and Arbitrate by Megan Thomason. It's got quite a complex and interesting storyline so I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil it for you, that would be the last thing I want because it's such it's such a good book, such a good series. Um, these are book one and two, there is a kind of a 1.5 but I actually haven't read that yet, I just haven't got around to it. The basic premise is that there's an institute called the Second Chance Institute who are offering people a second chance at life and they live on Thera. It took me a while to work out that Thera is an anagram of Earth but basically the the way it looks is opposite so where there's ocean on Earth there's land on Thera and where there's land on Earth there's ocean on Thera. I think I've got that right. All is not quite as it seems, the, you know, the people doing things for political gain and you follow a girl called Kira as she tries to figure out what's going on. It's just such a well written and exciting book. I'll leave a good re reads link below. I think their description will do a better job than mine but Arbitrate picks off where Day Night left off and I can't tell you what happens in Arbitrate without spoiling what happens in Day Night for you. Of the two I think that Arbitrate's better. I don't get me wrong, Day Night was a fantastic book but I think Arbitrate definitely has the edge and you see one of the characters who's there in Day Night kind of, you, you see him come to the forefront and become a main character and you really see his character grow and Kira grows throughout the two books as well. I, you really feel her emotions and sometimes it's it's so confusing, but not because the book's confusing, but because what's happening to her is confusing. I definitely recommend you take a look at both of those. The next book is one I I finished over the weekend. I recently rejoined the library and this was the first book I picked up because it's been on my to-read list for ages. It's Legend by Marie Lou. I don't really like this cover. I've seen much better covers, but it was the library, so it wasn't my choice. I'm sure lots of you have heard about Legend, but if you haven't, I'll kind of take you through the, the rough premise. It's it's told by two different people. It's told by a girl called June who is, she's incredibly intelligent. She's come from a, a wealthy military background and she's she's been groomed to go in the military all her life. And her brother's in the military and she, she idolises him and looks up to him. But then you've also got the story being told from the point of view of Day who is a boy who, he failed his trial which meant that they basically thought he was good for nothing. He lives on the street, but he's become he's become the city's most wanted criminal. He's never committed massive crimes. He hasn't murdered anybody, but they're making them, he's making the military look bad because they just they just can't catch him. They don't they don't even really know what he looks like. And it's about how they come together to try and get one over on the oppressive government. Again, I'm not going to say too much more because I really don't want to spoil it. The next book I want to talk to you about is Divergent by Veronica Roth. I also read Insurgent and Allegiant this year, but for me, I think that Divergent was definitely the better one. The other two, I I just was I was hooked in, but not as much as I was with Divergent. This is again another dystopian book. Can you tell I like dystopian books? It follows a girl called Tris who lives in a city where people are split up into factions. And basically factions are more important than family. If you choose to join another f faction, then basically you won't see your parents again. And this is another one of those dystopians where they try and overthrow their oppressive government. And again, I'm not saying any more in case you don't know about it. I, I, I hate spoilers, so I don't want to spoil it for you. So if you, if you think I'm being vague, I apologise. But I wouldn't want to ruin it for anybody because this is a roundup. This isn't for me to go into in massive detail discussion about it but now I'm going into a detailed discussion about not going into a detailed discussion. Another book I read this year which I really enjoyed was The Selection by Kira Cass. The premise behind The Selection is kind of like programs like The Bachelor I think. I, I honestly haven't watched them but I kind of know what they're about. It's about America in the future and it's about a royal family and when the their child comes when their son comes of age, Prince Prince Max, and they hold like a TV style 
selection process to find him a future wife and they pick people from all over the country and people are split up into castes so some people will be wealthy and well off but other people will have really bad jobs they won't have any any good prospects for life they'll basically be poor for their entire life but they take girls from all over the country from different castes and you basically follow them through part of the selection process the one thing that did annoy me though is that at the end of the book you don't find out who's who's won the selection people get voted off but you perhaps only halfway through it it disappointed me a little because I I like books in a series to stand up on their own and that wouldn't really but the way it was written I think I finished it in two days it was just written so well I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to the one to finding out finally what happens the last book I wanted to talk to you my most memorable books of this year is The White Queen by Philippa Gregory there's been a TV series on this and I didn't know this was a book my Nan was watching it on TV and I really enjoyed it and discovered it was a book so I decided I had to read it. It's, it's very different from what I usually read as you can probably tell I normally go for young adult dystopian. This is historical fiction. Again I'm not going to go into too much detail in case you haven't read the books, haven't read the TV series but like the sound of it. But it's about a lady called Elizabeth who marries into the royal family and people in the royal family really aren't happy about that and but but the king really does truly love her and it's about their life together and what happens, you know, there's little feuds going on in inside the family, people trying to overthrow each other and it, it follows her and I think there are a few more books in the series, I know there's at least two more, I can't remember how many there, there are in total. That's all for my best books of 2013. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot of books as I said, I just wanted it to definitely be the ones that came to the front of my mind as soon as I thought, thought about the best books I'd read this year. Let me know if you've read any of those or what your best books of 2013 are. I'd be really interested to hear in that. I will leave links to Goodreads below and any reviews I've done so you can find out a bit more about them. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to hear more book stuff and the occasional bit of beauty thrown in, then definitely hit subscribe. Thank you, don't forget to let me know what your favourite books of the year are and I hope you have a good Christmas. Bye! Oh, my bubble's falling off. Another book I read this year was Divergent by Veronica Roth. I also read Insurgent and... What's the other one called? Oh my god, I can't remember. I keep wanting to say detergent, but it's not detergent, is it? It's... It's... Oh my god, I read it a few weeks ago. Insurgent? Insurgent. Allegiant, that's it, Allegiant. Not detergent.